Hi, today we will see how to create service builder in Lifeway. Service builder is very useful for creating basic services for our tables. So for this, just right click New Lifeway Plugin Project. Provide project name and select this as a service builder project and click on finish. So now our service project is created. Which contain this service.xml file. So this is our file. So let me create my entity in this. Click on this entity. Click the add button and provide entity name. Select this local service button and uncheck this remote services. So now click on this employee. I want my table name like employee data. So I just change this to. So now our entity is employee but the table in database is employee data. Click on columns, provide the column name like employee ID. Which is of type int and it's a primary key. So each database table must have a primary key. So I am using employee ID as a primary key. Please remember that you don't want to give any specific name like ID, class. So they are reserved in life. Right? So this will create a problem. So never provide names like ID or class. So this is our first column. Now like name. And like address so when you open this there are the properties for these so there is a property id type click on this it's class identity increment so i'm using mysql so I treat as a increment. This is name and this is address. So I want that this is created as in database as employee address column. So I can specify the column name also. So this is our service.xml. Click on this icon, build services. So it's built successfully and in our project all files are created. So at this point of time there is no table in our database. So this is my database. Let me refresh this 
in search for employee but look there is no table employee so table is created when we first hit our database so let's create a entry in our table so for this first let me create a portlet right click on your project new and life reportlet provide package classes demo and let me change this to generate portlet so our portlet is created this is our portlet so inside do view i just try to add entry so i am using employee local service util dot add employee and now provide set employee id surround this with try catch and that's it so let me just deploy this portlet So now our portlet is deployed successfully. Now add this to our page. So as soon as we add the portlet on page, our do you method is called and our service method is also called.
so now this is added on the page so let me check the database and look there is a table employee data which contain three fields employee id name and employee address and data is employee id name and address so this is first tutorial in service builder series so in the next tutorial i will explain more features about service builder so thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much